Hey guys, Eric Soto and Mario Zendelli here with another fantastic video for our buyers out there. Today we're going to be having a two-part series talking about FHA and conventional loans. Mario? Our disclaimer is that we are real estate professionals, we're not mortgage professionals. If you have further questions, please reach out to your uh, lender directly. If you don't have a trusted lender or mortgage professional, let us know. We can refer you to companies that we've had a lot of success with in the past. Mario, why don't you tell us what the most advantageous thing about FHA is? In my eyes, the biggest advantage is the lower credit score. We have lenders that work with that can go as low as 580 credit score to get you into a house. I like it. Absolutely. That's a lot of people that can get into a home that otherwise couldn't. Right. What are some of the negatives though? Well, one of the biggest negatives uh, for me is the PMI payment or private mortgage insurance payment that you make on a monthly basis for the next 30 years of the loan right. that benefits the bank. Right, and that could be anywhere from 50 to 150. Yeah, it depends on your interest rate mm -hmm. uh, and also the volume of the mortgage, uh, but that's a significant payment every single month. Uh, another big negative, uh, while we're on the topic of the negatives, is the limited number of communities that are approved for FHA. Right, right now, there's only 17 in Orange and Seminole County that you can choose from. That's not a lot of units. The 17 condo communities, right? 17 condo communities. Wow which that's, that's not a lot. No, that's very few, very, very few. And here in the middle of the park, we have a uh, higher DTI. Uh, DTI stands for uh, uh, debt to income ratios. Thank you, Eric. So it, it really depends on the profile of the borrower, whether it's a positive or a negative. Uh, if you know that you're gonna get a promotion or you know that your car payment is gonna fall off in a couple of months, you, you can Getting have a home. higher threshold on debt to income and be happy with it because you know down the, down the road you'll be able to afford more. But some of the negatives are... Well, on the flip side is if you're the kind of person who tends to acquire a lot of debt, uh, you could end up being what is known as house poor. So now going out to eat and those types of things become more difficult because they're going to approve you for a much higher amount right. when it comes to the mortgage. Um, and so if you're that kind of person, just be careful that you have a payment that you're comfortable with and not just going up to the total approved amount. Another thing that can be positive or negative is the property condition. Uh, in my opinion, is a positive because now you have an FHA approved appraiser that goes out to the property and it's another set of eyes looking at the roof, looking at the appliances, the plumbing, make sure everything is in order. So when you move into the home, you don't have to dish out more money out of your pocket. Right. But some of the negatives. On the flip side again, uh, I have seen deals fall apart over $150 worth of wood rot. Right. Uh, in Florida, we have a lot of properties that have wood rot. It's sunny Florida, however, right. it rains quite frequently. Right. And so I've seen deals where the seller is unwilling to make that repair, the buyer doesn't own the property, can't make the repair, but the FHA appraiser is requiring it to be done. Dead deal over $150. That's, that's a shame. Right. Yeah, that's right. So be on the lookout for a second video going over the conventional loan, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.